गुड इवनिंग डॉक्टर्स I already teach about fetal circulation and now this is my next video about congenital heart defects. My son, Dr. Heman, and today we are going to discuss about a cyanotic congenital heart defect. Like, and cyanotic in our next session, I am going to teach you. So, C V S D is ventricular septal defect, A S D is atrial septal defect, and P D A is patent ductus arteriosus. So, what are the causes of ventricular septal defect? The ventricular septal defect causes are trisomy. Trisomy. Like 21, 21 trisomy, it's Down syndrome. Down, D here, so Down syndrome. And 18 trisomy is Edward, Edward syndrome. And 13 trisomy is Patau syndrome. So Down, Edward and Patau syndrome. I am going to write down D O W and down Edward E D W A R D Edward. How to remember Edward? As I remember, eighteen. It's eighteen, and E start from eight. Eighteen. Yeah. So Edward and thirteen is Patau syndrome. These are syndrome. S Y N D S Y N D S Y N D syndrome. Down. Everybody knows. It's very simple. Twenty one trisomy. Okay, what else? Next, I'm going to explain you. Then fetal alcohol syndrome (FAS). This is fetal alcohol syndrome, and cry, do, chat syndrome. These are the causes of um, ventricular septal defect. See, it's very much easy. <coughs> so, uh, and one more, Alport syndrome. Alport syndrome also causes. Ventricular septal defect, same in case of ASD. ASD, D here, D represent here Down syndrome. Down syndrome. Down syndrome cause ASD and uh, fetal alcohol syndrome. Fetal alcohol syndrome also causes. And the very important syndrome is HALT. HALT ORAM. HALT ORAM syndrome. S Y N D syndrome. HALT ORAM syndrome. Causes the ASD so many repeatedly. They ask which Holt Aram syndrome causes what congenital heart disease? It's ASD. And in case of PDA, it's ductus arteriosus open after a birth also. Initially, after a birth, this ductus arteriosus going to close down, but that's why it's open. It's on its patent ductus arteriosus, and the causes are preterm. Preterm babies, this occurs, and uh, uh, in case of females, we see such PDA. And in case of preterm and rubella, like TARC infection, TARC, yeah, rubella cause rubella cause the PDA, patent ductus arteriosus, it's rubella. So causes, you there, it's clear for you. Now I'm going to explain you the murmurs. What kind of murmur? Ventricular septal defect. Ventricles is the lower side of a heart. It reacts upper side. So here, if it's small, a small hole, there is a defect. Hollow systolic murmur. Murmur. <coughs> hollow systolic. Or we can say pan systolic. Systolic. We are going to listen here. Ventricular left, left sternal lower border. Lower left external border. We are going to lessen this murmur. If the hole is larger, then we see the diastolic murmur. Okay, but in case of ASD, ASD, what kind of murmur? Atrial septal defect. Here also a systolic murmur. Systolic murmur. ASD, atria. Located above the heart, atrial. So, where this murmur we are going to listen? On the upper left external border. Here it's upper left external border. Okay, so we can identify by stethoscope by identifying these uh, sounds, murmurs, and in case of PDA. It's patent ductus arteriosus. What kind of murmur? It's continuous murmur, or we can say machinery murmur. C H I N E R. Machinery murmur. 
machinery murmur where we are going to listen on the second intercostal left second intercostal space left side it second intercostal costal space we are going to see this now types different types of vsd different type of asd ventricular septal defect it's include like pre membranous membranous it's the most common type in vsd and vsd is the most common this one is the most common congenital heart defect and pre membranous is the most common in type and muscular type in leg type VSD ventricular septal defect we can see and another also there is a defect we can see the our types uh, like cono or uh, ventricular type cono ventricular type okay cono ventricular type but in case of ASD atrial septal defect these are two type ostium primum primum okay so this type we see early cases early primary came early and ostium secundum ostium secundum as is secundum seen late secondary late think late secondary is late early is primary so till here it's clear what kind of shunt here shunt means reversal of flow so here in all these three shunt from left to right side it from left side blood travel to the right side it in all these three so i'm going to explain what is pathology what does it happen here see i will show you now these are the four chambers of heart yeah four chambers this is right atrium this is right ventricle this is uh, left atrium and this is left ventricle so what happens here in case of vsd ventricular septal defect there is a hole between these two opening left ventricle and right ventricle there is a gap so what was happen the blood flow this is left side to right side occurs by this left to right the blood came here this is oxygenated blood this is oxygenated blood oxygenated and there is deoxygenated so oxygenated blood enters in the right ventricle why because the left ventricular size is more bigger left ventricular pressure is more from high pressure to low pressure blood enters in a right ventricle so oxygenated blood enter in the deoxygenated blood so there is no cyanosis because oxygenated enter into deoxygenated that's why no cyanosis in ventricular septal defect so but in case of asd atrial septal defect what was happen see same this is right atrium right ventricle left atrium left ventricle so left atria what happened there is a gap this from this is a gap primum and ostium secundum this is hole between asd these are the atrial and these are the ventricle so atrial septal defect this septa opens the and left atrium there is a high pressure due to pulmonary vein blood and drains into the left atrium so high pressure to low pressure enter left to right shunt this is oxygenated blood here is deoxygenated blood so mixing with deoxygenated oxygenated blood no problem no cyanosis okay but in case of pda pda i am going to explain you this is pulmonary trunk okay and this is aorta aorta so what happened here and this one is known as ductus arteriosus when it's not closes when it not closes after birth so aorta high pressure oxygenated blood here deoxygenated blood in pulmonary artery so high pressure in aorta low pressure in pulmonary artery this is aorta this is pulmonary artery so high pressure to low pressure blood enters with deoxygenated no problem no cyanosis here okay so how to diagnose this disease very easy very easy to diagnose 
I am going to explain together how to diagnose. We are going to diagnose all three by echo, 2D echo, echocardiography or by stethoscope, stethoscope by listening different kind of murmurs like machinery murmur in PDA, systolic murmur in ESD and hollow systolic or pan systolic murmur in VSG. Okay, sometime patient history, complaints, family history, what are the complications here? Complication like CHF, congestive heart failure, yeah, Asian Menger syndrome. I'm going to explain what is it. Poor, poor pan, walking poor. Asian, E I S E N. Asian Menger's syndrome. What is it? This is the situation when the shunt is reversal from left to right. Here the shunt is left to right and uh, here the shunt is right to left. Okay, I am going to explain what was happened here. So, what is the Asian Menger syndrome? This syndrome, what happens? This shunt from left sided to right sided the blood came and what happens finally this is going to be hypertrophy and thus enlargement of the heart size from right side enlarged from right atrium enlarged so here the pressure is more due to pulmonary arteries their pressure is hypertension pulmonary stenosis occur and so the reversal of shunt is known as Asian Menger syndrome and then Deoxygenated blood mixed with oxygenated blood. In this situation, what happened? There is cyanosis. Very dangerous is condition and arrhythmias. A W R Y T H M I E S. Arrhythmias are the complications. Yeah. So you have to be remember. There is a different type of complication. We have to treat such complications in these cases. If we if we want to close this, how to treat? If we want to close, we can give endomethacin. Endomethacin to close PDA. And the treat, treat here, the if CHF, you can manage by uh, cardiac failure drugs. And uh, if Asian Menger syndrome, we can do surgery, closure of shunt. Endomethacin to close the uh, its uh, PDA. And if you uh, want to open remain patent, we need to give alprostadil. Alprostadil. And uh, what else uh, we can give? Uh, mesoprostol we can give. Mesoprostol for opening to make it patent. So uh, these are the prostaglandin 1 analog. These are the prostaglandin PG1 analog okay my dear friends i hope you understand it very well there is no difficulty what happens i explain here in case these are from left side to right side because left side pressure is normally physiologically high in heart that's why right sided movement but sometimes what happens there is hypertrophy occurs due to continuous they are already feeling their own blood and after that the, from outside the blood came there is hypertrophy there is a reverse pressure where in the pulmonary artery then the pulmonary artery pressure increases pulmonary artery stenosis occurs and there is a reversal of shunt this term is known as Ischian Menger syndrome this is very very risky so we need to treat immediately okay my dear friends have a good day good night and if you still not subscribe my channel please don't forget to subscribe it please if you like my channel like my video please put like on it and have a good day thank you good night have a nice